Hello everyone, my name is Liesl Hartman and I work in the Centre for Art Education at the Zeitz Merke in Cape Town. Today, teachers and learners, we're going to be speaking about artworks, how to describe them and how to understand them. And I know that this is sometimes a very daunting task for us. Sometimes you may not have the resources to actually have pictures like these on my table here of artworks from beautiful artists. But you can go to a very ordinary magazine. You can tear out images from a magazine like these in black and white and in color. And the same language that we're going to use today to describe these images can be used to describe any image that you look at. So you can teach your learners how to look at a picture, how to describe it, and how to understand how the artist has put everything together by looking at an ordinary magazine picture as well. So today, teachers, what I want to speak to you about is an easy way for you to to do this activity with your children. PowerPoints are sometimes difficult and access to digital media is difficult, but I've devised an easy way for learners to engage in a discussion about artworks. It's sometimes a very boring thing for learners to sit and look at a PowerPoint of an image and a teacher saying, do you see this, do you see that, or look at this, or look at that, okay? But if learners are actually looking for the information themselves in a picture, it becomes a much more interactive and exciting activity. So what I've developed, and this is not my idea alone, I've learned this from other teachers that I've worked with um, in teaching visual literacy and also art history, is we've developed ways of making little cards. Okay, um, these are color illustrations of artworks. I have laminated these so that I can use them over and over again and so that can, they can be handled by hand and also nowadays teachers so that you can sanitize them as well. And what we do is we do an activity where we lay cards out on the table. Okay, children will stand around a table in a small group. If you have a big class, you want to maybe have more than one pack of cards and children standing in smaller groups. And the idea is that you pose questions to the learners to find things in the images that they can identify and see how they work together to do this. So for example, if we look at these wonderful images on the table here, some by really amazing artists, some um, are artifacts um, from Africa, things that we recognize like masks and so on, we can ask them questions. So you ask initially you know, what they see or what they recognize on the table and they may say, well, this looks like a light, that looks like a mask. They may not know that that is a, is a print. They see, I see buildings. So always start from the point of what they can see and what they recognize in the world. Remember your learners have knowledge and they have information and that is sometimes more important for you to get out of them than for you telling them a lot of things. So you could start with example by saying, I want you to look at these pictures and can you tell me the images where you can see line being used by the artist? And before you even describe a line, that's something that's inherent in learners. They understand that when they start reading and writing at grade one and, and two level, they're using line to create letters, to make their drawings, okay? Um, and they will go to the pictures and they may pick up images and say, well, I can see lines in there, okay? And I can see lines in there. And I can even see lines in that picture of the building there, and so on and so forth. And then from that, you develop more and more questions um, about your cards until eventually you can ask them things like, well, lines are used to create patterns, for example. Can you see any image or any artwork the way the artist has used patterning in a particular way? Um, and so on and so forth. And then they may identify an image like this, which is a kente cross from Africa. Um, they may identify the print again from the African artist Al Loco. Um, they may even look at an image like this, where there are repeated elements that make a pattern from a piece that is an actual um, anamorphous mural that's in Egypt. So it's a really fun interactive way to work with images. And today, Yentl and Richard are going to slow that process down for you. They're going to be looking at two works at a time so that you understand how you can look at the work individually and alongside each other. And what we've done today is that we've printed the images uh, really nice and large. 
so that you can see clearly what they are speaking about. So I really hope that you're going to enjoy today's session and, and have fun and engage in what Yentel and Richard are going to teach you today. Thank you very much.